Neanderthals are often portrayed in our culture as simple, brutish creatures, cavemen who spoke only in monosyllabic grunts, if at all. But to what extent is that really true? Hello, my name is Christopher, and in today's video, we're going to explore a question I've had personally for a while now over whether or not Neanderthals had language, and if so, how we know. Does language really make us human? Now, to begin, I think it's important to define our terms, because chimpanzees, our closest living relatives, and other primates have been shown to understand very basic sign language. Coco the gorilla was famously adept at this proto-language. What it lacks, of course, is the syntax and grammar, the complexities of modern language. That's what we're looking for from Neanderthals. For context, Neanderthals lived about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago across parts of modern-day Eurasia. In fact, between 1 and 4% of the human genome from that region today comes from Neanderthals. Some genetic services will even tell you how much DNA you share with them. Still, throughout the 20th century, most archaeologists believed that we were the only species to ever use intricate language. But skeletal and genetic data in recent decades suggests otherwise, and many scientists now think that Neanderthals did indeed have advanced linguistic abilities, albeit with a more limited vocal range than modern humans, on account of having a flatter skull base and higher larynx. Perhaps the most famous piece of evidence is the 1989 discovery of a Neanderthal hyoid bone in an Israeli cave. You see, this bone is very small and rarely remains intact for tens of thousands of years. It attaches to the larynx at the top of the vocal tract and is essential for speaking. The fact that Neanderthals possessed a hyoid indicates that they were capable of modern speech and recent computer modeling reveals that it was likely used very similarly to how people do today. Further evidence comes from genetic analysis. It turns out that Neanderthals had the same version of FOXP2 as modern humans, the only gene of which scientists are aware that plays a major role in language. In other vertebrates, the gene appears in different forms and performs different functions which indicates the occurrence of a key mutation shortly before the split between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens about 500,000 years ago. But the newest evidence is based on a study published earlier this year, which investigated the auditory abilities of Neanderthals. The researchers created virtual models of several hominid species to determine which frequencies they could hear best and the Neanderthals displayed a remarkably similar sensitivity to Homo sapiens, but different from their ancestors. This finding aligns with the FOXP2 mutation and suggests that Neanderthal hearing was fine-tuned to a communication system as elaborate and efficient as ours today. These were no ape men, so to speak. Neanderthals were intelligent, complex social creatures, and there's a good chance there's a little bit of them in you right now. And so, in conclusion, it seems that Neanderthals did have complex spoken language in a way that we would recognize. Perhaps they are even faint traces of their speech in ours today. Unfortunately, it doesn't fossilize, and without building a time machine, we will never know precisely what their language or language is sounded like. Alright, that's all for today. Please give this video a like if you learned something, and let me know in the comments section what you think of this analysis. How much Neanderthal DNA do you have? What linguistic mystery should I cover next? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. My sources are in the description, and as always, thank you so much for watching.